Welcome to tutorial video on ink for the web. In this video I'm going to cover using images. Previously when we used tags or things like them for comments within ink they showed up as just empty or comments within the same code over in the preview. And we see that here. I've listed image and then a link to an image file and over here in the preview it just shows the same thing which is not particularly useful. However, when using ink for the web, there is an image tag, which is what this is. The word image in all capital letters, followed by a colon, and then the relative space to an image. Now, the image folder in this case was created by me after I exported for the web for the first time. Remember in the previous video, we went to File, Export for Web. We see here I've already done that and I've created an images folder. So let's jump over to that layout and see that. So I exported for the web using this project and I got these files. Then I created an extra folder images. In it, I put a single image that we're using in this example. But we can see here that first we have to export for web to create the folder. Then in that folder, if we want to use images, we can create a folder images or put images within that as well. We can then use those by using the image tag, all capital letters, image, colon, and then the name of that. But again, it doesn't show up in the preview. It only shows up in the web page when looking at the index.html file. And if we pull that up, we see that right here. It pulled up the image for us. Notice we're looking at the local path of that, and we see the name of the project right here at the top. We see the very first use of the image tag to display that image. Then we see text, and then we see the choices that I have included within this project. So, as a review, we can use images if we're using ink for the web. The first step, coming back to Inky, is to make sure we go to File, Export for Web. That will then create the folder for us and the files we want to use. Once that is created, we can then add image files to that same root folder or directory. We can create a new one, images, and add to that. Then in our code, we can use the image tag to tag those images to include them in our project. Remembering, of course, that it won't show up on the preview on the right-hand side, but will show up in the HTML. And as I reviewed in the last video, if, as we're looking at the HTML and we notice a problem, and I'll pull up that again here, and we're like, oh, I need to fix something or I need to change something else, remember, we don't need to re-export the project every time. We can merely go to File, Export Story.js only, find that same file in that same directory, save, and replace it, then come back to the HTML file and reload it to see those changes. Thanks for watching.